Hey everyone, I'm feeling a bit under the weather at the moment, so I just wanted to make a short video showing some useful tricks and bits of hidden functionality that I found in Kingdom Death Simulator that could be useful for your own campaigns. Number 1. Number Keys By pressing the number keys when hovering over a deck, you can pick up one or more cards without flipping them over. This also lets you place them down individually, which can be really useful. When your cursor is over the showdown board, pressing the number keys will pick up that many death dice. You can press another number key after that to pick up that many more as well. Number two, the shift button. You can hold down shift to pick up damage location dice instead of normal death dice. You can hold down shift when rotating a card with the R button to have it snap to cardinal directions. You can hold shift while picking up tokens from the box to pick up multiple tokens, like bleed tokens or status tokens. One of my favourites is that you can hold down shift to put a dice down without rolling it, because it feels kind of wrong to roll a dice when you didn't need to. Number three, linking sheets and models. Gear grids can be linked to survivor record sheets and also survivor models. If you hover a survivor model or a survivor's record sheet over the gear grid, this kind of loading bar will appear, and once it's filled up, they're connected, so if you hover over the gear grid, it'll highlight the model on the table that corresponds to that gear grid. That can be really useful if you forget which model is who. Number four, linking cards from record sheets. Fighting arts, disorders, resources, and I think other cards as well, can all be linked to if you type their name exactly on a record sheet. That can be really useful if you don't remember what a fighting art or a disorder does, because you can just click on it and see it come up on the right-hand side of the screen. Number five, setting up a fight quickly with presets. If you right-click on a monster model, you can select a preset to have it automatically set up the AI deck, hit locations deck, tokens and traits for that monster at that level. It's a little bit finicky right now and sometimes doesn't set up the right decks. Number six, holding F1 to see card counts. This is useful when you just want to get a rough idea of how big a pile of cards is, for example, how many wounds a monster has left before it dies. It's also handy for making sure that the automated presets I mentioned in the last tip worked properly, because you can compare the number of cards in each stack with the number of cards on the monster's basic action card. Number seven, writing notes on the back of record sheets. Though they're not currently visible to other players in the room, you can flip over survivor record sheets and make notes about anything you want. Number eight, pressing tab to pin a card. You can press tab to pin a card to the right hand side of the screen, which means you can continue doing other things without losing it from view. Number nine, cinematic mode. This doesn't do a whole lot just yet, but if you press F2, you can go into a cinematic mode where if other players in the room are doing things, the camera will try and pan to what they're doing to capture the action. When nothing else is happening, like in this room right now because Bor isn't with me, it will just pan between different objects in the room and do a kind of dramatic close up of them. I think in the future this could be really cool though, if it gets a bit smarter about which things to focus on. Finally, number 10, dramatic dice rolls. If you hold down V while rolling dice, it will do a slow motion shot following the dice, emitting sparks every time it bounces, and if you roll a lantern 10, everything just explodes. This completely destroys my frame rate, which kind of enhances the effect. I hope you find these useful, I'm definitely going to be using that dramatic dice roll for lifetime rerolls in future videos. I'm going to start another campaign soon once I'm feeling a bit better, so I really look forward to you seeing those, and thanks again.